Not not this, but the small pocket book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it was first published, I think in 1985. 1985. Was probably, probably the first mm -hmm. I read that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had already lived in Japan mm -hmm. uh, since 1967. Mm -hmm. Went to Waseda University, so I was interested. Mm. And I like travel. You you happen to find his book on bookstore? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just by accident. I said, by accident. I didn't know what it was really. So mm. It was on Japan, the pocket book. Mm -hmm. So I read it and I said, wow, I, that's a very interesting trip. Mm. So I decided, well, okay, I, I enjoyed his books. Mm. And uh, eventually, uh, 19, see, it was 1988. Mm -hmm. I came back and worked at the embassy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I used this book as kind of like a guide. A guide. So I said, okay, he went to Hokkaido and Soya. Uh -huh. So I want to go up there and see uh -huh. it. So I started using this book. Oh, he went to Akita. He liked Akita. Uh -huh. So I went to Akita. The different locations to mm -hmm. visit. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've, I got very fond of him. And so I tried to track down the books on him. And eventually came across Looking for the Lost. Mm -hmm. That book that came out, and uh, eventually followed that. And then I looked on him, researched him, and found different articles on him. Mm -hmm. And that's how I became interested in him that way. So it wasn't until later that, uh, how can I say, is, is that uh, I started looking really close at his background, mm -hmm. where he's from, and everything like that. Unfortunately, most of these books here mm. Mm. were published before the English version. Oh, before <laughs> you know? the English version, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah, these mm. were all published. Uh, they weren't available in America. <laughs> so you couldn't get these. So. Uh, let, let, let me explain a little bit. Uh, yeah. first, uh, first chapter is this, this. Cigarro, yeah. And the second chapter is this. Yes. And uh, the last chapter is... Chicago, yeah. And he traveled... He traveled to uh, Tsugaru. Tsugaru and Kagoshima. Yes. And now he is trekking yes, this uh, Alan Booth. We, we planned the trips, the, uh, the trip in the Tsugaru, mm. the exact same dates. Oh, same date? Yes. yes. Ah. And we tried to stay in exactly the same locations if possible. Mm. In fact, in Aoni Onsen, I stayed in the same room, booth stay. <laughs> same room? So, ah. And the same date and the same room. You ah. know, and his description of the ceiling and what everything fit. Oh! So, how, how did you find the same room? It's mentioned in the book. Ah! Oh, okay, yeah. I see. And uh, so we're able to do that. So I try and match up as close as possible. Ah. The, the exact date he was here at that date. Mm -hmm. And some of the places are no longer operating, but some are. And then we stayed at the same places. I see. Yeah. That's and great. We, we tried to go to the same locations that he did on the same date. Mm. Trying to see, we tried to compare what is still there. Ah, nice. What is lost. What is lost. Yeah. Uh. So Booth was saying there, he was looking for, he's trying to determine what is lost. What is lost. Mm. And so we followed him 30 years later and said, well, uh, the one in Kyushu, Kyushu. Shigo, Takumari, right. is very interesting because one of the places was the Love Hotel. <laughs> and we found the Love Hotel, but it was abandoned, so we went through it all like that. Yeah. And we did find a couple locations. In fact, there was a ryokan that's still operating there. Mm -hmm. Remember the one we went to? He, he was he had like the, the, the. We went in and sat down, and had coffee. It's kind of like all the records of the Beatles yet. You know, okay. yeah, yeah, he probably doesn't understand, mm -hmm. but we, we stopped at that place. Oh. And then the, another place, the old lady with the Ryokan, she was still there. Oh. So there were still some things left. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But we tried to follow his path. Mm -hmm. And we went, we went to that one where we drove up into the mountains. We had a little car. We tried to follow the same path, but then the, we drove up there and the, the lumberjacks, or the people cutting the wood down, Mm -hmm. They looked at us like, what in the world? It was like 8 in the morning. What in the world are these gaijins doing up in this morning? <laughs> and we found out the road had been washed out, so we couldn't follow his path. Oh. We tried to follow as closely as possible the dates. Mm -hmm. This trip to Shudakawa, mm -hmm. he did in October. 
So ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. We're, we're, we're on. Not this now. time. No, yeah, not mm. this time. We're gonna show. This time we're gonna show. Yeah. So we they open like the Ukai. Yeah, around here. yeah. Mm. from from May to October. That's mm. when Booth just came here on October fifteenth. Mm -hmm. ah. That's when the last day of the the, the Ugai fishing. Ukai, no. yeah. Last day. Mm. In fact, I, I I showed the lady in the front desk mm -hmm. the book. She didn't know. Wow, she didn't know. Yeah, I said it, it, there's, there's like six or seven pages about the Seiki uh, yes. Kanko Hotel. Yeah, I'm going out here on the Ugai. It's very interesting. She, she didn't know that. She took copies of it. She didn't. Wow, know. that's great. I don't know if anybody's left here, but uh, they said this is the original structure yet. So mm. same building. Same building. Yeah, yeah from forty years ago. Mm. So, not quite the same as what Boots mm. had, I think. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, so we, no. yeah. So we try and follow. I do about three or four months of research and looking into all the different places he went to and tried to. Mm. In fact, in, in, in Miyazaki town in Nobuoka, where we went, we went to the same locations on the same date. And, and I take the comments from his book and, and put them with the caption of the photo. Mm -hmm. So if you're reading the book, you can look, oh, this is what he was looking at at wow. that point. That's great. Because there's, there's no... You, you know, you say, I'm looking out over here and I see this temple and this and that. Well, it's nice in the book, but it's nice to put a photo with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, there is no photos. There are no, no photos. photos. No. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, I took a lot of photos in Soya and a number of places at Kitakan, but wow. I haven't done it. No photos. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, and the other thing with, with Booth's books, like we mentioned before, mm -hmm. he never gives you the real name of the Ryoka. Ah. Or he also, He'll never give you the real name of the owner or the Japanese. Uh, like one of them, he said uh, Yamada. Yamada. Yeah. But his real name was Yamamoto. Ah. Uh, he just changed. Change. He, never, he never gives the real name. So uh, I don't know. So after, after doing research. But you, you, can, you could find that. Well, actually, the Mori Shimbu people did that. Ah. <laughs> I see. They, they went and interviewed the people. Ah. So he was a real fan. He liked. Uh, he loved Aomori mm -hmm. That's that was his uh, his place because, like it says in the book, he went to uh, Osoriza. 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 I've been there many times in uh, Itako. Itako. Hi. He said he was born in Hirosaka 300 years ago. <laughs> reborn. And because uh. he screwed up, because he made mistakes, he was reborn a gaijin. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of thought that was clever. Uh, but, uh, how about you? <laughs> probably. <laughs> Sometimes I think so. Uh, I've been to many places and some people say that. Uh -huh, but, uh -huh. uh, yeah, so his books bring out a lot of uh, sides to Japan. He wasn't really, he, you know, in, at the embassy we had two, two distinct groups. One we called the Chrysanthemum Club. Chrysanthemum Club. Ah. And they loved Japan. Japan ah. could do no wrong. The famous book. Mm -hmm. No, no. It was just the there was people in the embassy mm -hmm. who who were called the Chrysanthemum Club people. Oh, okay. you know those Kiku is the mm -hmm. Japanese right? Chrysanthemum is the emblem of, of the imperial family, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, Ambassador Mansfield was a, was a lover of Japan. Mm -hmm. To him. Japan could do no wrong. Uh, so then on the opposite end, uh -huh. you had people who said, we got to do something with the Japanese. They're taking over the economy, they're destroying us. Uh, so you had two sides. Like uh, that. And, and Booth is the same. He wasn't a 100% lover of Japan. Uh, 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 yeah, in fact, one of the one of the things I found in there, one of the chapters, he says mm -hmm. about Japan is saying we're becoming internationalized. Mm -hmm. We're becoming part of the whole world. Then he gets down and he gets all the negative and writes a lot of negative things too. Uh, so he wasn't. He was two sided that way. Uh, so he had a lot of nice things to say. Uh, he enjoyed Japan, but yet he yep. had things in there like all the sky jeans we feel like these things. Mm -hmm. you know, so, and he was frustrated about that. Uh, so, it, does, it does come out in him through the book. In mm. English, at least. I don't know about the Japanese, but mm -hmm. it does appear that way. So mm. that's, that's why I like it because a lot of this is pre digital age, analog, and how he got around and the places he visited and the people here he talked to. You don't get it in regular travel. In fact, 
Booth wrote a, mm -hmm. a travel book. I don't know if you know that. A travel guide to Japan. Uh, no, I didn't know. I, I don't have. Know. I, I have. Know. He'll refer to it in his books. And he's ashamed. He said, that's the worst thing I ever wrote. Wow. He, did, he did it for money. Mm -hmm. Not because he wanted to. Wow. He needed money. So he wrote the book because uh, I, I, some publisher, I'm not sure who, which British publisher asked him to write a book on mm -hmm. travel to Japan. Mm -hmm. So he wrote one. For, and, for money. For money. Wow. And it came out in one of the chapters. He says, I'm really, you know, he says, that's the worst thing I ever wrote. He did it for the money. <laughs> so, he, he confessed. Yes, he did. Uh, uh, he didn't. He didn't want to write the book, but he needed the money. So. Wow! And a, a couple of the articles, and uh, I think the Stage of Fools, whatever that is, mm -hmm. the other one. And he does. He wrote for. Uh, he only wrote for the money. Wow! He took a ship to Shikoku. I spoke because A and A wanted to write. Uh, ah, articles. I see. So ah. he, he did not want to write travel. Those type of travel guides. Ah. He did not want to write travel guides. You know, mm -hmm. he wanted to write about experiences and meeting people in mm -hmm. his travels mm -hmm. rather mm -hmm. than a travel guide. I see, I see. Like, you know, if you go to Kyoto, see this temple, do this, do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I see, I see, I see. Like that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and in fact, he did not want to teach English either. Mm -hmm. he, he went to Waseda University. Mm -hmm. His first job when he came to came to Japan to make money, he, mm -hmm. went, he was hired by Waseda University mm -hmm. to teach real English. Real English. They called it real English. Mm -hmm. They wanted their students to experience real English, no. students speaking real English. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, he did not like that either. He said, I am not a robot. I am not up there just talking. Mm -hmm. And he quit after one year. Well, one year? One year. He quit. That's it. Wow. I'm not teaching English. Only one year? One year. He left <sighs> after that. So it's a very interesting side. A lot of this, you could read it all, and even in here, there's a lot of interesting stories. Mm. The personal side, maybe in the last chapters when he's mm -hmm. fighting, in the very last, you know, mm -hmm. when, he, when he's fighting cancer. Ah, uh, cancer. In the very last chapter, some of that comes out in there. And what was surprising, I found out, even though he lived in Japan from 1970 to 1993, he never had an age camp. He never was a permanent resident. Uh. He never... I never did that. So never did that. I'm surprised at that. Mm. But, uh, but, but uh, finally he got as you can. No. No? No? I very envious thinking. Ah, so. But there is uh, a lot of very interesting, yeah. And in fact, a lot of the reviews yet on his, they say he's the best travel log writer mm -hmm. on Japan. Mm -hmm. I always recommend read his. So you think but, uh, you think so? It is true. Yeah, well, it's getting age because a lot of what he writes about no longer exists. Uh, no longer no exists. Yeah, that's why Stan and I took this trip, We're going through each chapter uh, to see what is left. Wow. Like that. So, what 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 did he see and, and, and what did he experience? And, mm. like, so much has changed in Japan in 30 years. That mm. it's, you know, but still, his you know his. His, his discussions with just meeting people mm -hmm. are so interesting. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. He meets people like that. You don't get that. You know, so many of the travel guides are so simple now. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you don't get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. you know, even if you, know, if you go to America, you can't find a travel out to a period. You know, mm -hmm. It's impossible. So, so, but these are still very, very, very interesting. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. so, we've been fortunate to actually meet people who met him. <laughs> oh, that, that's a great point. Yeah. That's a great point. Yeah. Uh, so this time, I hope you can find the Probably person. Probably not. <laughs> I, don't uh, think so. I don't think so. I, it's very unlikely. Mm, I think so. That's too far. But we did find out when I did this, is uh, he, he took the ghost roads. Ghost roads? Mm -hmm. Oh, ghost. You know, ghost. Y yure? Yure, yes. obake. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, he called them the ghost roads, mm -hmm. booth in the book. Mm -hmm. In other words, they're very, he, he was off the beaten path in Gifu, mm -hmm. all these side roads. And it took me forever, after reading this book, looking on Google Map, going back and forth, to figure out how he did this. And it was very, very difficult to understand. 
not many loads. Well, mm. well, he would get off here and go off mm -hmm. this and, and trying to find, okay, where is this and where is that? Uh, yes? Mm. Still much snow? Yuki? Yuki. Uh, oh. So we may not be able to get the small roads. But uh, he took these, in this trip, when he went to Gifu, this one, mm -hmm. he did not take main roads. Ah, uh, no, yeah. no. He went off on these little roads and then he would meet people. Mm. And he would stay at places. Mm. And if he didn't find silver too. Wow, that's great. So much we're, we're gonna have silver there. We're still there. Yeah, it wow. still exists. That's so, yeah, it still exists. That's great. That's great. Yeah, he took off on these side roads for mm. you know, Ryokan that we're staying at. They're still operating. They're uh, that's that's great. Yeah, mm. Mm. And uh Booth Booth loved uh Gujo Hachiman. Yeah, yeah. He, he he didn't know about it. Uh, he just fell into it and said, he did, it was kind of unplanned. He said, oh, uh -huh. this is beautiful. You know? oh. he, you know, he enjoyed it very much. Yeah. So I didn't know about it either. When mm. I read about it and checked it out, I was like, wow, uh, You didn't know so, much about Gujo Hachiman? No, I didn't. Uh, I, see, I, see. I, I, I learned from both first and I looked, oh, wow, this is really nice. So we're going to go there. So is this, uh, this time you first uh, go to Gujo Hachiman? Yes. Ah. Yeah. Ah, I went to Shirakawa. Mm, it's were, very famous. You know, a few times. But yeah. I never heard of Kujo Hachiman. Ah, Kujo Hachiman, man. Yeah. Or Mino. Mm, Mino. Mino Washi. Yeah, I never heard of Mino. I go to those places. And uh, then up to, uh, well, we're, we're not going to spend a lot of time in Shirakawa, though. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. Then we're going to go up to uh, Ainokura. Mm -hmm. Please uh, taste the uh, Hyakushun the Sake. We it's, will. It's great. We definitely will. Mm -hmm. We'll try that. Buy a couple bottles and take home with us too. I think. Definitely. Yeah, because Booth spent a, a lot of time mm, uh, drinking, I think. So thank, you, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, mm. And uh, uh, what is this? What is it that makes you uh, take uh, uh, travel, uh, same as uh, Alan did? What, what What is that makes you? Well. It's because, you know, I've been in Japan, I, if Alan was alive, we'd be about the same age. Oh, okay. same age? Yeah, mm -hmm. he came in 1970, I came in 67, ah. so we're kind of like overlapping, you know? Overlapping. So we, we're kind of, you know, like, like, in fact, when he was at Waseda, I was at Waseda. Ah, so I see. I didn't know him. So, it's kind of Guzem. Ah, okay. by chance. Coincidental, you know? Ah. So, kind of like, you know, we both, Grew through, you know, lived in the same period of time. I see. Know? And I, so I kind of look at, well, what did he travel to and why, you know? So I, I read the book and said, well, let's go on a trip and find out what was he looking at. I see. Why did he think this was so great? I see. In, in Tsugaru, you can find that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It hasn't changed that much. Ah, uh, Tsugaru, so man. Some of things have not changed. Mm, not changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Miyazaki, Kagoshima has kind of changed. Ah. Uh, but in Tsugaru, we could see that. Ah, uh, uh, I see. see. That. So mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons we're looking to go and say, okay, what's left? <laughs> what's left? <laughs> what's left in Japan that Booth looked at? Uh, so, so I'm very looking forward to see the of your photo and the Booth's uh, writings. Yeah, the first one I did on Sugaro was really, it was 173 pages. <laughs> ah, so uh, with, with the photos, I mean, all the photos, you know, the people we met. Like, do, you have, uh, do you have a plan to publish it? I'm going to put it on the blog. Eventually. A blog, that's right. Okay. I have a good friend, a British friend, actually, in Ibaraki, uh -huh. he's a Booth fan. Uh, you should look at, on Facebook, there's a Booth appreciation page. Okay, okay. Yeah, and... Uh, and Tom, Tom Giggs is his name, and he's British, and he loves Booth too. Ah, that's great. So, and he want, he, he does, uh, he travels by bike throughout Japan. Oh. And he's he's but, working on publishing a book mm -hmm. on his bike travels. Mm -hmm. so, so he's British too. Yeah. I see, I see. So she took all these, there's like 42 boxes, she said, big boxes. Wow. And she went to the University of Singapore. And she asked the University of Singapore to archive, you know, archive. Right? Archive, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and publish these online so they'd be available. And that was in 2017. And uh, so I, I was trying to determine what happened. I talked to a professor at the University of Singapore. Mm -hmm. And I got, it was Moran, I think, Professor Moran. 
And I asked him to look into it. Whatever happened to Booth's mm -hmm. archives like mm -hmm. that? And then he checked with the Singapore University mm -hmm. in the library. Mm -hmm. He said, no, it never happened. She, wow. took, it, she took them all back. Wow. And I what talked to I talked to Tim Harris. I said, Tim didn't even know. Wow. He said, Wow, that's a waste. He said we were both talking and suggested that I told I told Tim, I said, you know Sue, she's in Malaysia now. She works for a, a leadership corporation or something. She's still she's seventy years old. And we both said, God, get a hold of her and, and send him to his alma mater, mm -hmm. the University of Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't lose them because those are all his handwritten notes and videos and photographs, and everything. We you cannot it. accept. No, it no, right now. no, no. They're in boxes in a warehouse in mm. Malaysia. Wow. <laughs> so it's sad. You know? What would become of that box? No one knows. Tim, Tim, Tim said he said I'm. Gonna, I said I was going to email Sue. Mm -hmm. I said Sue, you have any plans for this? Said, mm -hmm. Let me do that. She know he knows he knows Sue. Oh, she said, okay. But I said, you know, that would be invaluable because, you know, like the photo I showed you, that's, mm -hmm. that's the raw notes of his notebooks. Oh, that's very said, precious. 42 boxes of this wow, stuff. Wow, 42 boxes. Yeah. Uh, it, would be, uh, so, uh, it would be nice for people to have access uh, to that. So. Please, you know, please, I hope that actualizes. I, I don't know, Tim said he was going to contact her. And uh, I, I, I hope she does because he, he didn't even know. I said, so, what? I said, yeah. A team didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, uh, that brings up the other thing. If you ever get to Tokyo, uh, Stan and I went to uh, Alan Booth's favorite. He had two favorite bars in Koenji. Koenji. He went to. One's closed already. Wow. It's called Teboku. But the other one is still operating. It's in Okinawa. Okinawa. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okinawa bar. We went. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. uh, recently. Tokyo. Recently. Yeah, uh, it's that's... a very old place. That's great. Yeah, there's a lot of memorabilia there, and, and, and the lady there knows him very oh, well. Oh, so we she remember. Yes, oh yeah. Wow, that's so great. It's, uh, it's an Okinawa bar down there, and we got to. Uh, he used to. It's in. It's. It's in. I don't think it's in any of his books. Uh, but uh, they. Uh, he's buried in Saitama. He had a grave site in Saitama. Saitama. Right, and unfortunately. They close that and they put them into what? What do they call where everybody's buried? You know, they take your honor in. Uh, it's a mass, like a mass mm. grave thing. Shugo, 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 shugo hakapuna. Yeah, shugo. Mm. yeah, that's where he's at in Saitama. Uh, now. I see. They they had a big headstone mm. and put it up there. But uh, Sue, Sue is in Malaysia now. Mm. The second wife and the daughter's in California, mm. LA. Mm. You know, Mirai. So, so there is no individual tombstone. No, of, there uh, used to be. Uh, there used to be. Yeah, so the first they did, mm -hmm. but you have to take care of that. Mm -hmm. Ah, so, care okay, of okay, I see. So and they didn't want to. Mm -hmm. but she was in Malaysia. Ah, okay, I see. She's I see. in LA, so ah. they decided, okay, ah. we'll do that. Yeah. Well, there's the Okinawa bar. Yeah. Ah, this is the. Wow, this is the uh, Alan. The yeah, it's the same went, as what you went. Same thing. Ah. It's an old area of uh, wow. Malaysia. Yeah, so, yeah. In fact, his favorite, I found out his favorite Nihonshi too, is the Iwate Ken. Iwate Ken, no. I always ordered the big bottles. I got one. <laughs> you know, it's oh. called Asabiki or Asa. Ah, uh, I know the title. Uh, Asabiki. Asabiki. Mm, Asa. Asa. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, it's good. As, yeah. Ah, uh, It's very good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because he, he went to in Koenji, it's mm. Teboku, yeah. Used to go there, and the, the master mm. would only serve Iwati Ken Nihonshu ah. Asabiki. Naruhodo. And that's all. Only that's all, one item. That's all Ellen drank. Wow. Sandwich. So I ordered it, and it's very, very good. My neighbors, I introduced to my Japanese neighbors to it, and they loved it. Wow. So it's very good. I would love to. Drink that. Get on Amazon, <laughs> you can order it. Can order it so. Okay, yeah. I see. Uh, but that was his favorite Nihonshu. So. Very, um, you talk to me very uh, special uh, things. That I appreciate that. Yeah, well, so, I'm, I'm glad to meet another Alan Booth fan. <laughs> yeah. 